So here we are, and we are here. If you pan around, you can see uh, one of Britain's iconic moments. And a big shout out and thank you to the English Heritage Stonehenge, ladies and gentlemen. The first event that we're doing is uh, I will play live uh, to the sunset. So that's why we've been here early on uh, checking out music, which I'm doing now, just finished. Making sure that everything works, making sure in terms of the tracks that I choose, that the setting's right. I mean, how beautiful is that? My partner, Alon, we got together with the English Heritage. Two reasons, really. One, bringing awareness to some of these amazing places around the country, and two, teaching the next generation how important they are and raising money to uh, maintain them. It's not an electronic set that you'd expect to hear in a nightclub. It's a set that where I touch on all genres of music. Uh, I've done a lot of research, a lot of uh, in Ibiza for a week and watched every sunset, timing, playing music, seeing what how I felt, the emotions that come from uh, sitting here and, and watching the sunset. So there was a lot that has gone into it. I've timed every piece of music that I've played, that I'm going to play tomorrow, um, and I've gone through it all for the last few hours as we've been here watching the sunset. Uh, the night before, two o'clock in the morning, set everything up, we were here in the mist, it was all kind of crazy, like tons of people mapping out where we were going to put the lighting, we were setting up all the kind of speakers, the gear, testing everything, hoping that, you know, that with all the mist and all the kind of moisture that was in the air, we were going to roll with it, but the kit performed perfectly. The moment the last kind of tourist took their last little step off, bang, we were in there, and in 45 minutes, all of this was set up. An amazing setup, a phenomenal feat. And uh, to see kind of Paul work those four SC 5000s and see the music, you know, it was almost like a film score. You know, it was perfectly kind of fitted to the sun coming down and just uh, been a great experience. You know, big love to uh, Universe, uh, obviously all the Denon crew that were down here, all the lighting guys and uh, Ollie, we pulled off uh, an amazing feat. Uh, particularly just because the it's such a perfect night for it I mean the sky is clear the moon looks amazing and just to have the music pumping as you're walking up the path is just unbelievable the stones look amazing yeah so coming up at sunset on like you know in a September even it, it, it is incredible you know like look at them how they what they're doing there how they get there no one knows why they put these stones here 
this was probably why. This is probably the reason, you know, it's probably, it's probably written somewhere. It's extraordinary. I mean, it just feels extraordinary to be here. And then sort of like, it's, it's surreal. It's sort of humbling. It's, um, it's just like, when are you going to get the chance to do something like this? It's, it's a sort of an extraordinary event. We're at Stone. I'm listening to it now. I'm, I'm just. I had a moment earlier when Paul Oakenfold dropped Blade Runner, and the sun was going down. And I'm in the Stonehenge Circle, probably for the like listening to electronic music for the first time since the 80s. You know when Thatcher made it illegal. This is a moment. This is a hell of a moment we're sharing. Amazing. Just so blessed to be here. It's incredible, remarkable. Sorry. This close to the stones. This ancient monument is shrouded in mystery and how far, you know, dance music culture has progressed. And we couldn't imagine this 20 years ago, but, you know, this is where we're at. I, I, yeah, I just felt, wow, this is a, a, an, an, a bit of an honour to be, to be able to be so close up to, to something that's incredible. One of the things about dance and electronic music is it gives you the possibility of having amazing experiences, or literally anywhere. We are, we are all like-minded people and the music helps us bring us together. So to, to actually to enjoy that moment in our life uh, and have the opportunity to do that, uh, the only way we can do it was through music and to have a DJ booth to perform from it's, it's, it's just amazing, yeah. This is the, the most magical moment. I've been wanting to come to Stonehenge for a long, long time. And finally I get to come and suddenly it looks like this. And we've practically got the place to ourselves. It's kind of mind blowing. And yes, Stonehenge, it's the cat's meow. And when I first put the headphones on, there was this like Arabic music playing. It went into classical, into Ennio Morricone, back into classical, back in, in, into ambient. I said to Paul earlier that his music choice was unbelievable and I nearly broke down in tears. I kind of held it together um, and with the lights and the visuals, yeah, yeah. Very, very special, very, very special. Right up there, I mean, it's been a team effort. Obviously, you guys, with what you've achieved with, with us with the sound, obviously English Heritage with the, providing us with the stones, obviously the lighting, obviously uh, Paul Oakenfold, you know, delivering an iconic set. It's, it's like a dream come true. You know, we, we pulled up with a lovely evening, beautiful sunset, incredible uh, choreography from Paul's music. Just incredible talent standing in, in one space, you know, all celebrating the stones. I feel, how do I feel? Mixed emotions, very lucky, privileged, uh, a wonderful experience. Yeah, great, you know. I, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think I've actually taken it all in. So, ask me in a few hours, it's one of those. <laughs> It's never been like this ever. Yeah, yeah. So there's only so much you can say, but the production, the lights, the sound, everything came together. We worked respectfully with English Heritage and we pulled off a magnificent, amazing show that I think everyone who came, everyone who was invited will remember this the rest of their life. So this is something that we've been talking about for, for months and months and months with the universe. Like it's an amazing opportunity, you know, for us to kind of get involved with, you know, a landmark occasion in dance music. And for Denon to be represented up there was just kind of phenomenal. We had four SE 5000s, X8000 mixer, Paul Welkenfold up there and just can't even describe the set that he did. Just perfectly synced up with the sunset that came down. Just amazing music, amazing crowd. The people here have really kind of absorbed everything that we done. The bigger picture is we're here to support English heritage, 
to raise awareness and money to a young generation that I speak to globally. 